In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve motion word problems with integrals. This is question two. The question reads, an object starts at the point two and four with an initial velocity v subscript x is equal to seven centimeters per second and v subscript y is equal to five centimeters per second. These are the x and y components of the velocity vector. And it moves along a curved path. Its x and y components for the acceleration are a subscript x is equal to three t centimeters per second squared and a subscript y is equal to five centimeters per second squared. Write expressions for the x and y components of velocity and displacement. To start we'll use the property that velocity in the x and y direction is defined in the following way. We've been told a subscript x and a subscript y so if we take the integral of these two functions we will end up getting v subscript x and v subscript y which we know already. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's take the integral of a subscript x, and that's 3t, 3t dt with respect to time. Taking the integral of 3t is not hard. We will add 1 to the exponent here. It's already 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by 2. This gives us 3t squared over 2 plus our arbitrary constant c. Now we've been told what v subscript x is, it's seven. So I'm going to replace this with seven. And I'm also going to replace t with zero because this is the initial velocity. So the initial velocity will be at time at zero. Let's go ahead and do that. Seven is equal to three times zero over two, that's zero. So our constant here for v subscript x is seven, giving us an equation vx is equal to 3t squared over 2 plus 7. Let's go ahead and do the same thing now for vy. vy is equal to the integral of our function 5. 5 dt. The integral of this, we'll take this 5 outside of the integral. The integral of dt is simply t. So we end up with vy is equal to 5t plus c. We know what vy is according to the question. It's five centimeters. So I'll place five centimeters in here and I'll replace zero with the t because this is initial velocity. Five times zero plus c gives us a c value of five. Our equation therefore is vy is equal to five t plus five. Now that we have our vx and our vy, we can do the same thing using this property to obtain our x and y. So if I take the integral of v at x and take the integral of v of y, I end up with my x and y. And after I obtain my x and y, I can substitute the point two and four when t is equal to zero to obtain the complete equations for displacement. Here's what I mean. Let's start by taking the integral of this function. This will give me x. So x is equal to the integral of vx, which is 3t squared over 2 plus 7 dt. And if you want to be extra formal, you can put dx instead of simply x. Once you take the integral, this becomes x. The integral of 3t squared over 2, you add 1 to this and divide the whole thing by 3. This gives us 3t to the power of 3 over 6. This reduces down to half, and I'll do that in the next step, plus 7t, plus 7t, plus c. I'll substitute t is equal to 0, and x is equal to 2 because of our point 2 and 4, as defined in the question, soon. Let me do the same thing now for vy. So dy is equal to the integral of vy, which is 5t plus 5 with respect to time. Taking the integral, we get y is equal to the antiderivative of 5t is 5 over 2t to the power of 2, and the antiderivative of 5 is 5t plus c. Now I will substitute t is equal to 0 into this equation and into this equation. Substitute y is equal to 4 here, and over here I'll substitute 2. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with this equation. We have four is equal to five times zero to the power of two over two is zero, plus five times zero is zero. So four is equal to C. 
And over here, if I substitute 0 into here and into here, I end up with c is equal to 2, giving me two displacement equations defined as such. y is equal to 5 over 2, t squared plus 5t plus 4, and x is equal to t to the power of 3 over 2 plus 7t plus 2. I'll put a square around my answer. And those two equations represent my displacement equations for this particle. And there you have it. That is how to solve motion word problems with integrals.